There are places that you go to and once is enough. And then there's Napoli. First, let's talk about um, wh how you got to, you were invited to do the film. Right. Well, uh, I worked in Naples before. I'd done a play in New York, uh, a theater for a new audience uh, called Souls of Naples, which was written by a Neapolitan author, Eduardo Di Filippo, originally titled These Ghosts, Questi Fantasmi. And we were invited to do it in Naples, and it was a big success there. And I really had a wonderful experience. It's a very old, gritty, beautiful, dangerous, mysterious, and sexy city. And uh, it has a huge theatrical tradition, a huge musical tradition. Uh, it was a, and still is, a, you know, a, a vibrant classical music center and popular. Uh, dating all the way back to 1300 and so I, th I was just interested in and in, uh, in the city and people knew that and my previous film romance and cigarettes had very good distribution there and it did very very well so they uh, they said well you, you like music and we thought you know we want to make a Buena Vista social club type of film and we want someone who's connected but maybe we're a little bit from the outside so I worked with this uh, journalist, uh, Federico Vacalebre, who writes for Il Matino in, in, in Naples, and he's a musicologist. And for two years, he introduced me to a lot more music than I, I was aware of. Uh, I, I was aware of a certain amount, certain people, who are actually in the film, a few of them, but he was sort of my tutor for two years, and I listened to, you know, thousands of songs, and I liked the song. I'd listen to different arrangements, then study the lyrics so I knew what it was really about, and then try to build a, you know, a, a, you know, a template for the whole film. So it's a musical adventure through the city of Naples, and I tried to let the music speak uh, for the musicians instead of having a lot of talking heads, because each song is a little window into a part of life in that city. And there's so many great songs that I would, was not able to use, and older great artists who, who are not represented in the archival footage, but they're inside of the, the younger singers that they are performing. So uh, I, for, for me, the film had like this very dream-like quality, just sort of touching here, touching there, as you, as you sort of touched on that. How, um, so if I were to approach it as a dream, what, what would this dream want me to know about? Yeah. Well, I think what, what you're introduced to is a place that's ancient and modern. You know, the, the, they, they live on the volcano. One of the songs is about the volcano. The woman who sings it lives on the volcano. And she, she talks about how, you know, they, they're living, you know, in the shadow of something that could take away their existence. So their love of life is staring into the face of, you know, their mortality. They have a fatalistic approach and at the same time tremendously, you know, a vibrant uh, appreciation of what life is. Mm -hmm. And so it's, when you're in a place like that, you feel really alive and you feel the need uh, for music, why people need music. Because there's rich people and there's poor, there's a lot of poverty there, but these people are improvising through the day, you know, to get by. And music has always been an essential component of their character, their their dialect, which is really their language, is very musical. It's like a cousin city to uh, San, uh, uh, New Orleans, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Havana, and uh, you know it's these places that people have to overcome all these obstacles. That music comes out of out of the ground. It comes right out of the out of the ground, and it's. It's something to witness because the singers are really storytellers. They're not just singers. And that's the difference in certain traditions. So, uh, but it's, it's a, it's a witch-like city yeah. because it kind of works its, its m magic and its hooks into you. You know, it's dangerous, so you have to be kind of alert. But people are very alive, you know, and they're masters at improvising, you know. Yeah, and, uh, y and you talked about the volcano. I mean, that is sort of that yang, fiery, feminine, yeah, vibrance. That's yeah. right. And there, you know, there are a lot of really, really powerful female singers in the film. The first song, Carmela, is about 
the city in the guise of a woman and sung by this very famous Italian singer Mina. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there's all different representations of women, young, you know, middle aged, older. Uh, but they're a really powerful group of female singers that we have. There's a lot of wonderful male singers too, but I think that's really unusual. You don't get to see that many, you know, powerful uh, uh, women in, in a film, you know, who are really talented. Talented and, and especially with the, the songs that sort of had sadness or, or even uh, the woman who sung about uh, the song about the the putana just oh right she's very amazing unashamed yeah. sexuality yeah it's a I mean it's a very it's a really sensual place it just is I mean people look at you and they kind of look like right into you mm -hmm. you know the, it's what's interesting is the performers aren't really narcissistic they're like they have a need to express. The, their condition or the story of the song that, it, that tells about the conditions you know between a man and a woman or a political situation or a sexual situation or whatever the song is about mm -hmm. and you, you you don't see that so it's kind of liberating when you see it you're like wow you know this is you don't see this kind of uh, uh, thing and, and so with that energy of the singers sort of you know literally giving uh, what giving this gift to right. their their audience, um, that's that they're they're healing, I suppose. Oh, there's there it's is a healing process of that, and you know, this is a city that has uh, uh, rebounded from all kinds of you know invasions and man-made disasters and war and the and the Gamora and crime. To this day, they're still they have they're big struggles, but these people have been able to to rebound time and time again and part of that spirit I think is celebrated you know in the film in addition uh, to the success of the film the soundtrack is a, was a big hit in Italy a big hit it's been on the charts for like 24 25 weeks right. and Universal is releasing it digitally and the hard copies will be coming you know actually today from right. Italy so is there a website for the film? Uh, there is a website for the film okay. uh, uh, you just have to look up Passione we'll put that and on and, it, and you can buy it on iTunes, and uh, the hard copies will be coming up. Great. And you're opening in New York now? And now, and then we're going to open, you know, throughout the summer, uh, you know, across the country, in, in all the major cities. Passione, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right. Okay.